Four days away from it, Chris, people are gathering their glasses, making plans on where to watch this once in a lifetime event. But tonight, Megan Hartnett joining us live in studio. She went out to the Toledo Zoo to see how the animals are expected to react. Yeah, Jeff, this zoo isn't sure how animals behavior is going to change. The eclipse is actually going to be an opportunity for research on how the animals react or don't react. As people gather to look at the total solar eclipse, they should have on glasses to protect their eyes. But what about animals? Should they be wearing glasses too? We're not really concerned about the animals looking up at the sun because they typically don't do that in the first place. So uh, I think they'll just kind of go about whatever business they're going to be going about. Curator of behavioral husbandry and well-being for the Toledo Zoo, Beth Posta, says keepers aren't sure how the animals are going to behave. We could see that they look at the kind of the sun going away as mimicking what happens at night. And, and then they may just go through their normal nighttime routine where they may start going toward door to go in for the evening or birds might start roosting. Animals might start going underground if that's what they would normally do. Posta says the change of routine may be confusing for the animals and they could show signs of being anxious. The zoo has a training program to make the animals resilient for changes like this. When there is something different, there is a change in their environment, they have the skills to be able to cope with it and be able to deal with that change. Because of the uncertainty of how the animals are going to react, the zoo plans on recording data on animal behavior before, during, and after the eclipse. We'll be collecting data on our brown bears, our tigers, our cougars. We'll be getting data on the vultures and the ibis, as well as over on the north side in the Arctic encounter. Zookeepers will be watching to see what the animals do, but you can be part of the data collection too. Our visitors can come into the zoo and collect data at the exhibits with us, which will add to our body of knowledge and be really helpful. Posta says this is a very exciting opportunity for the zoo to learn more about animal behavior, as it's truly a once in a lifetime event. The zoo is having animal demonstrations, bounce houses, and other activities on the day of the eclipse. There will also be free eclipse classes while supplies last for visitors. Reporting in studio, Megan Hartnett, WTOL 11.